Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Speaking Style on Fashion with Trevor, where we share with you some tips and tricks on how to better manage your style. As you know, fashion is something we engage with every day of our lives and it gives people an impression of who we are. So on this week's topic, we will be discussing how to dress in a smart casual way in your style. Alright, so y'all are probably wondering what do you mean? You know, what does smart casual even mean? Because it's very popular on invitations. There's always that invite that says dress code smart casual. Doesn't mean I dress up a little bit, not too much, just enough, what is enough? <laughs> so in this episode, that is what we will be discussing. And when I say in your style, I mean there are different types of people in the world and we are comfortable in different kinds of attire. So on this week's episode, I am breaking it down into four different categories of ladies, lovely ladies who are maybe not similar in what they like when it comes to fashion. The first category that we have are the ladies who are casual dressers. These are ladies who are comfortable in a t-shirt, some jeans, some flat shoes. They really don't want to be too dressed up. Probably in their wardrobe you won't find any sparkle or glitter or anything that is too formal because they live a lifestyle that allows them to be dressed in a casual way and they are comfortable being that way. They like to wear nice um, simple attire and when it's time to dress in a smart casual way they don't want to put on a hectic party dress that will make them feel out of place so i'll be also addressing how if you are this kind of lady what are some of the options that you have when the invite says dress smart casually that are appropriate for the occasion now our second category of ladies are the ladies that are fashionable on trend they are in with the now the cool kids they know what time it is you know so they are the ladies who want to be participating in whatever is trending if it is a particular dress a particular print a kind of two-piece pajama set that is in fashion and everybody who's in fashion has it they want to have it too that is the category of ladies that i will be also giving tips on how to dress in a smart casual way for special occasions that will be appropriate while still catering to their need to be on trend okay so now for our third category of ladies these are the divas they want to be dressed to impress they want to be overdressed and never underdressed honey <laughs> so this category of ladies are not afraid of standing out in the crowd if they go somewhere and they don't stand out in the crowd it's not gonna be a good day so, so these ladies they love glamour they love glitz they love prints they love bold statement making fashion when they are somewhere they want to have it all the fascinator the stockings the high heel shoes the bracelets those are my diva ladies you know they are into fashion they love to be matching to the t honey and they are not afraid of being the one in the room in that outfit in fact it's something they're quite good at pursuing and achieving so i'll be giving them some tips as well on how to do smart casual in their lane and to be appropriate for an occasion because sometimes they can be a little overdone so i'll still be true to their style in the tips that i gave them this week all right now our fourth ladies are our lovely beautiful conservative ladies these ladies are conservative honey if you don't know the meaning of the word i'm gonna put it on the screen <laughs> these ladies love to be dressed 
appropriately when it comes to every occasion. They don't want to be showing any skin. They don't want to be looking a little bit too sexy or too revealing. They like their necklines high and they want their sleeves full. They want to be as proper as they can be. And these ladies also want to be stylish, you know. They just have a requirement which is to not be inappropriate when it comes to their style. They don't want to be in anything that is a little bit risque, that is a little bit revealing. They make sure that the clothing that they buy fits them in the right way, not too tight, and they want to make sure that their necklines are high and they are looking crisp and proper and respectable. So these ladies are also a part of the family and I will be giving them some tips on how they can do the smart casual dress code in a way that is true to themselves and they can be comfortable in their skin and still stylish for the occasion. So on that note, let us really begin in getting it together with the tips. Okay, so seeing as we have different categories of ladies, for this week's episode, we are switching up the flow in the sense that I will be giving you tips on how to rock one or two uh, key pieces with different kind of tops, different kind of shoes according to your category so that you can look fresh and appropriate and be stylish in your occasion. As y'all know, we have our four ladies here, Miss Conservative, Miss Diva, Miss Trendy and Miss Casual. I'll show you pictures of different ways you can wear this. Let's say you are a casual lady. You can do this look with some fresh, super clean sneakers, some nice accessories that are dainty and cute, and a fresh, crisp t-shirt. A golf t-shirt is also something that has a more formal appearance and can work when you're pairing it with your skirt or a nice v-neck t-shirt or a really high neck round neck t-shirt can work for you you can pop a nice casual blazer on top just to make it a little bit more um, formal and there you are ready to go and hit the road if you're not afraid of wearing a pair of heels a nice simple strappy heel to go with your outfit can make you look complete all right for our trendy ladies they are always fashion trends that are wild, fun, and changing. Right now, the big balloon sleeve is on trend. A lot of designers are offering tops in this style. So if you are wearing your skirt and you pair it with a nice big balloon sleeve um, top in white or in whatever print is trending right now, you can do this look in that way. Pair it with some nice shoes. Nowadays, uh, we have these square toe sandals that are in fashion. If you have a pair of these, you can pop it with some trending sandal shoes. These shoes that have a um, see-through sort of effect just to also be super more on trend. And of course, the whole face and hair that is trending right now, the, you know, with the edges on fleek and the eyebrows properly done that can also be a great way for you to achieve this look and now for my divas if you are a diva you better get yourself a beautiful top in a beautiful expensive looking fabric something with lace something with some um, organza some you know satin vibe if you get something in these kind of luxurious fabrics to pair with your skirt and you get a nice shoe that is patent or you know um really uh strappy with like a kind of a high strap look this is a great way for you to be on trend have your hair done the bigger the better <laughs> joking <laughs> all right but you get my you get my point have your hair done have your makeup done have a great super fabulous handbag and your shades just to top it off with some nice killer beautiful shades and you are good to go all right now when it comes to my conservative ladies a perfect way to do this is to have a nice high neck shirt you know button up all the way when it's more formal if the buttons are uh, covered up that gives it a more high-end look button your shirt all the way up 
put on a statement necklace, tuck it into your skirt, give it a more um, stylish look. When it's not tucked in, it doesn't really work because uh, belting it may not be an option for you. But if it's not tucked in, belting it on the waist to give yourself some definition is a great way you can do it. This works really well with an A-line skirt, maybe in a printed color with a plain shirt, or if you're wearing a printed shirt, you can wear it with a plain color skirt and then you can put on some nice um you know conservative pumps <laughs> i don't know if there's such a thing but you can wear it with you know a nice solid shoe and you are also good to go hitting the mark when it comes to the smart casual dress code so as you can see as different ladies with different styles we may be comfortable in different kind of tops when it comes to this styling section so just know who you are and try it out for yourself and apply yourself to the invite dress code and be dressed in a way that is fresh and exciting for yourself all right thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode and please don't forget to like share and follow and of course shop killer collection Mwah.